Sophie. Hey, Kobe. Good morning. Good morning. How's it, Utz? Linda Lemon, I'll WhatsApp you after the class for chats. Otherwise, it's going to be a mess through here. Yeah, great. Um, who else is supposed to be clocking in here? All right. Okay, cool. Have a stand at the end of your mats, guys. We're breathing again today, just like we did yesterday. Um, and we're going to try and work further into that lateral bug that we tried. Hope everybody's not permanently damaged. So standing at the end of your mats with your feet parallel and hip distance apart, and your hands open next to your sides. Drop your shoulders and lengthen through the back of your neck. And here are your first three breaths. The first one goes in through your nose and out of your nose. Right, in through your nose. Drop your jaw, open your mouth, let the air escape. And then breathe in through your nose and blow your air out firmly and on purpose. Right, that's your Pilates breath. And now we're going to do the three holds. So you breathe in through your nose and hold for five, four, three, two, one, and then breathe out. Big breath in through your nose and hold five, four, three, two, one, and breathe out. One more time. Breathe in. Hold. Keep your lungs and your ribs big. Two, one, and out. And then you can start moving to inhale, rise onto your toes. And exhale to drop back down onto your heels. Careful, Des, don't drink so early. Inhale up onto your toes. And exhale and drop back down onto your heels. Relax your shoulders. Inhale up onto your toes. And exhale to connect and drop back down onto your heels. And now bend your knees. So as you breathe in, drop with gravity. And exhale and then press the floor away with your legs. Inhale, bend your knees. And exhale and straighten your legs. Inhale, bend your knees. And exhale, straighten your legs. And now sniff your shoulders up into your ears. And exhale and press them down and back once. Inhale, up shoulders. And exhale, down and back twice. Inhale, up. And exhale, down and back three times. Stop, keep your shoulders depressed. And then inhale, hang your head. And exhale and lift your face. Keep your shoulders back. Inhale, hang your head. And exhale and lift your face. One more time. Inhale, hang your head. And exhale and lift your face. And then turn your hands open, shoot your fingers down. Inhale, rise onto your toes. And exhale and put down your heels and bend your knees and drop your head and round all the way down and forward. It's an ideal opportunity to check your feet. So make sure they're parallel and hip distance apart. And then exhale and bend your knees. Lift your belly button and slowly roll up as you breathe out. Bring your arms to wide. Stretch into your fingers and drop your shoulders. Once again, connecting with your ribs. Inhale, rise up onto your toes. Exhale, put down your heels, bend your knees, round your shoulders. Curve your upper back and round down and forward. Inhale, gently straighten and exhale and bend your knees, lift your belly button, slowly roll up as you breathe out. Bring your hands up, shove your shoulders down, inhale, rise onto your toes and exhale and put down your heels and bend your knees and dive forward and walk out onto all fours. Knees underneath your hips and hands underneath your shoulders. Let your lower back go so that your belly's got somewhere to attach to. Open up your shoulders and lift your face to look at the front edge of your mat. Inhale to prepare. And exhale to tuck your pelvis, lift your belly button, hollow your chest, round your shoulders and drop your head. Stay stretched round, breathe in. And exhale and then stick out your tail, knit your rib cage down and open up your shoulders and lift your face. Inhale to prepare and exhale. Now drop your head first, hollow your chest and curl your pubic bone to your nose. 
push right up onto your arms, breathe into that space between your shoulder blades and exhale, then stick your head out first. Press your shoulders down and keep connecting as you let your lower back go. Inhale to prepare and exhale and take a blow to your solar plexus so that you lift in the middle, drop your head and tail on either side. Keep pushing on your arms, breathe up into the middle of your back. And exhale and now stretch your head and your tail away from each other, making space between the two heavy bones. And then stop, sit back into your shell, stretch for a moment, squash your feet, mind your knees, be careful. Hold, breathe in. That's looking good, Helen. And then slowly roll up as you breathe out. Yeah, that's a lot less. That's nice. Okay, kneeling up like an Anglican or a Catholican. Tuck your toes in underneath and then go and sit back on bent feet just to give it that little moment of flexibility into an opposite direction. And then sit at the end of your mat and we're going to do half roll backs. So you choose how you want your legs to be. They can be long and straight as long as your heels are pressing down or you can bend them up so that you're sitting right up on top of your sit bones. You don't have to keep your toes on the ground. The heels are more important. Arms come up to 90 degrees and you stretch them forward, but you pull your belly button back and you roll off your bum bones. Inhale, come back up to straight and exhale and half roll back. So it's not how low can you go, it's how much you can curve your back. So reach your arms forward, pull your belly button back. Inhale up straight and exhale, half roll back. Inhale up straight and exhale and half roll back. Inhale up straight, open shoulders and exhale and half roll back. And then come up to straight, walk forward so that you end up into the middle of your mat. And now as you roll back, bring your legs with you so that you roll onto a nice flat back. Tuck your knees in and exhale and then step down one leg, two leg and have your hands, palms facing up next to your sides at 45 degrees. In a neutral spine with your lower back hollow, inhale to prepare and exhale and lift one leg into tabletop. Maintain your neutral spine. So check that your back's still hollow, breathe in and exhale and step back down again. Work your foot, toe, ball, heel back onto the mat. Inhale. Exhale, connect, zip, and lift the other leg into tabletop. Hold, breathe in. Redo the trunk and core, and step down, toe, ball, heel. Inhale, lift your arms up to 90 degrees. Drop your chest and shoulders into the floor, getting your collarbone as part of the mat. Breathe in, and exhale, and lift the original leg into tabletop. Hold it there as you breathe in. And exhale and step down, toe, ball, heel. <sighs> Inhale to prepare. And exhale to connect and zip and lift the other leg into tabletop. Keep your neutral spine, ribs, chest, shoulders in the same place. Take a breath in. And exhale and step down, toe, ball, heel. Inhale, release to neutral. And bring your hands back next to your sides. Inhale in neutral and exhale to imprint your spine and lift one leg into tabletop. So that lifting of the leg helps with the, with the imprinted spine. Hold it there as you breathe in. And now exhale without losing any traction. Lift the other leg into tabletop so that your back stays against the mat. Very nice. Hold, breathe in. And exhale and step down one leg, two leg. Inhale, let your lower back go. Hollow. Exhale and imprint your spine and lift the unoriginal leg into tabletop. So the leg that you ended with last. Hold, breathe in. Connect again. Exhale and lift the other leg into tabletop. Don't let your spine leave the mat. Breathe in. And exhale and step down one leg, two leg. Now without the assistance and brace of your arms, lift your arms up to 90 degrees. You can bring your hands together. You don't have to hold them separately. It is easier with your hands together. Take a breath in. Exhale, imprint your spine. Lift your original leg into tabletop. 
hold it there as you breathe in and exhale and then connect and zip and lift the other leg into tabletop nice hold breathe in and exhale and step down one leg two leg inhale soft back neutral spine inhale exhale imprint your spine and lift the unoriginal leg into tabletop hold it there as you breathe in and exhale and then connect and zip and lift the other leg into tabletop going straight into your intermediates you're going to inhale lower your arm and your hand or, and your toe on the opposite side to the mat and exhale and then bring them back so your trunk and your torso feels the same all the time it's the limbs that are moving and challenging those muscular connections so it's inhale lower toe and thumb down and exhale to connect and zip and bring them back inhale hand over head toe down and exhale to squeeze connect return inhale hand over head toe down exhale knit your ribs zip up bring them back inhale over and exhale to connect return do one more on either side inhale over yes please exhale and return last one inhale over and exhale and return and then stop hug your knees into your chest when we go to advanced bug you've got options you don't have to take your toes down to the ground you can straighten your legs up instead so that you're sure that your lower back is staying against the mat hands go overhead and return inhale exhale place your toes against an imaginary wall lift your arms up to 90 degrees and then inhale hands overhead toes down or toes up to the ceiling and exhale and then bring them back once inhale toes down hands overhead and exhale and bring them back twice inhale hands over lower your limbs or lengthen your limbs and exhale and bring them back thrice here's your last one inhale and exhale to connect and zip and come back four times stop hug your knees into your chest you can put something underneath your head and you're going to drop into a rude baby stretch so grab a hold of your feet push your knees into your armpits relax your shoulders so that they make up part of the weight that you're holding on to to drop your knees further towards the ground try and sink into it so be heavy take a breath in exhale pull your belly button back just as a reminder and then exhale and step down one leg two leg onto the mat and as promised here's your lateral bug so at the moment we're doing the preps they do take it into a series of coordination we'll use opposite sides today so one leg is down and the other leg is up in tabletop your arms are up at 90 oh, your arms are not up your arms are wide at 90 degrees dead cowboy and then starting off with that leg check that your lower back is in neutral so your spine is hollow and away from the mat and then inhale lower the knee in a turnout and exhale and then bring it back so everybody's got a different range and a different groin so don't go lower than the rest of your body will allow if you're compensating too much the exercise is for naught so find that place where you're working and you're not straining exhale and come back take one more inhale lower your knee in a turnout and exhale and then connect and bring it back now bring up the opposite arm so that's at 90 degrees and then when you lower your knee you lower your arm breathing in and exhale and then bring it back inhale lower and exhale to connect and return inhale lower and exhale and connect and return nice one more time inhale lower and exhale and zip squeeze connect and return step down with this leg place the arm back in dead cowboy step up with the other leg do a spine check make sure your lower back is in neutral and that's how it's going to stay and then the leg goes by itself finding where it fits best so inhale lower and exhale return one <sighs> inhale lower and exhale return two <sighs> inhale lower and exhale return three stop lift the opposite arm up 
pop the shoulder back into the floor inhale separate so that when arm goes open the knee goes open and you exhale and you bring them back once find the rib cage connection inhale open lower and now exhale and whoosh your ribs down so use your breath actively inhale lower and exhale return three one more time inhale lower and exhale return four and stop and step down and you can bring your hand down to right you can put something between your knees and bring your hands back next to your sides at 45 degrees drop your shoulders open against the mat in fact give yourself a couple of shrugs so inhale up shoulders into your ears and exhale and press down into the heels of your hands inhale up shoulders and exhale down shoulders inhale draw your chin down as you bring your shoulders up and exhale and press down as you breathe out then stop turn your hands up next to your sides inhale draw your chin down and exhale and break at the breastbone come up as you breathe out short stop hold breathe in and exhale to connect and zip and turn your hands and roll back down again inhale nod your head against the mat exhale and break at the breastbone come up as you breathe out <sighs> inhale sideways into your back and exhale to connect and turn your hands and roll back down again inhale nod your head against the mat exhale break at the breastbone come up as you breathe out <sighs> hold it there as you breathe in and exhale to connect and turn your hands and roll down so now you're going to do a hold breath so inhale nod your head exhale break at the breastbone <sighs> breathe in hold and exhale and then turn your hands and roll back down again <sighs> inhale nod your head against the mat exhale break at the breastbone come up as you breathe out hey Cherie. Shuri, come here to the camera. Hold, breathe in. And exhale and turn your hands and roll back down again. That was a duff. Sorry, two more. Inhale, nod. Exhale, come on up. Inhale. Hold your breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe out and lower down. Inhale, nod your head exhale break at the breastbone come up <sighs> breathe sideways into your back drop your shoulders <sighs> hold five four three two one exhale and roll back down again put your hands behind your head open up your elbows push your shoulders and your ribs down the middle of your back towards your hips and your waist and then inhale nod exhale break at the breastbone come up as you breathe out and hold breathe in and exhale and twist <sighs> inhale center and exhale and twist <sighs> Kobe come to the camera exhale twist <sighs> and center <laughs> and exhale and twist and center Uta has the best behaved dog guys sorry <sighs> the rest of your dogs all have to go to juvie and twist oh actually Toto's the best dog she doesn't even feature and exhale and twist one more on either side and twist <sighs> inhale center and exhale and twist and then stop close your elbows around your eyes and push your head into your hands and your hands into your head roll down let your elbows drop open and bring your hands back next to your sides you can scooch your heels up closer to your bum for hip rolls and shoulder bridges so the hip roll in the shoulder bridge is a counter posture to the break at the breastbone and the obliques but it also works into the upper back so with that in mind using your breath take a breath in exhale and stand on your feet imprint and lift your hips up as you breathe out resting on the back of your head neck chest and shoulders hold breathe in and exhale and then turn your hands and slowly roll down sorry that's the wrong cue inhale release to neutral and exhale and stand on your feet imprint lift your hips up as you breathe out there's you might want something between your knees and to turn your hands palms facing up hold breathe in and exhale and then connect and turn your hands and slowly roll back down again okay let's get some focus inhale neutral 
Exhale and stand on your feet. Imprint. Lift your hips up. Breathe sideways into your back. Relax your glutes. And exhale and stretch back down again, squeezing the little ball between your knees. Lift your arms up to 90 degrees. Drop your chest and shoulders into the floor. And then inhale to prepare. And exhale and stand on your feet. Imprint. Lift your hips up as you breathe out. We're going to go toes first. So inhale, hands overhead, lift your toes. And exhale and then toes down and bring your hands back up again. Once. Inhale, hands overhead, toes up, digging your heels in. And exhale and then toes down, bring your hands up twice. Inhale, hands overhead, toes up. And exhale and then toes down and hands up. Hold, breathe in. And exhale and stretch all the way down and through as you breathe out. Then hands go overhead and you're going to stand on your toes. So with hands overhead, knit your ribs and shoulders down, breathe in. And exhale and stand on your feet. Imprint, lift your hips up. And now go inhale, hands up, toes up, up, heels up, damn it. Exhale and then heels down, hands overhead. Inhale, hands up, heels up. And exhale, heels down, hands overhead. Gotcha. Inhale, hands up, heels up. And exhale, heels down, hands overhead. And then stop, drop your arms to the floor if there are those kind of arms. And exhale and stretch down and away from your overhead arms as you breathe out. Inhale, release to neutral and lift your arms up and exhale and bring your hands back down next to your sides. You can put something underneath your G-string triangle for the hundred. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can also do it with your legs down. But the idea is to get the blood flowing and the adrenaline pumping a little bit, even though it's not that cold. It's nice to be warmer. Your legs are up in tabletop if you want them to be, if you're not working with your feet down. And you're going to inhale, nod your head. Exhale, break at the breastbone. Come up as you breathe out. Breathe in, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, five, six. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, five, six. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, five, six. Remember to pull your shoulders down if you're feeling it at the back of your head. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, five, six. You can lower your legs. We're halfway. Out, two, three, four, five, six. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, five, six. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, five, six. Last set. And out, two, three, four, five, six. Stop. Exhale. Hug your knees into your chest. Roll down. A number of variations on your single leg circles. If you're working with your legs up and something underneath your hips, which you all are. Good. That's nice and easy. You're going to straighten one leg and lift the other one into tabletop. Or oh, it's already lifted. And then your single leg circles, take your arms out to dead cowboy, to brace. And then extend one leg and inhale to cross the middle line and exhale to circle down and around and back. So feel how you're using your arms and your shoulders to brace. Imagine that they weren't there and decrease the size of your circles so that you've got it all working below the belt. Inhale, cross and exhale and circle four. Inhale, cross, and exhale in circle five. Change direction. Inhale away, and exhale in circle one. The bigger your circle, the harder it is to control. The smaller your circle, the more likely you are to get into the tiny little muscles. Use your breath there, Desby. You're rotating like a Tasmanian devil, slowly. And four. Inhale, and exhale in circle five. Stop and change legs, extending on the other side. Inhale to cross the middle line and exhale and circle one. Inhale, cross and exhale and circle two. Inhale, cross and exhale and circle three. Inhale, cross and exhale and circle four. Inhale, cross and exhale and circle five stop change direction inhale move away and exhale and circle one inhale away and exhale zip squeeze circle two inhale away and exhale zip squeeze circle three inhale away exhale squeeze connect four and here's your last one and exhale in circle five <sighs> 
stop, step down, one leg, two leg, take whatever you have out from underneath your hips and lie on your sides for open and close the book. Place something underneath your head and something between your knees so that your spine is stacked. You need your head in line at the top, your knees in line at the bottom. And then err on the side of caution. So bundle up even tighter so that your lower back is holding position and you've got somewhere to swing against. So open and close the book are the big rib cage openers and closers. So we're going to be applying that vascular breath again. Inhale, lift your arm up to 90 degrees, starting with what you know. Exhale, open your chest to the ceiling. <sighs> Inhale, lift your arm back up again. And exhale to close. <sighs> Inhale up to 90 degrees. And hold your breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale and open your chest. Linda Lemon, you can bend your elbow if that shoulder is giving you a jip so that you're not hanging that amount of weight off it. Yep. Inhale, lift your arm back up again. And exhale to close. <sighs> Inhale up to 90 degrees. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale and open. <sighs> Inhale, lift. And exhale to close. <sighs> right, here we go. Smooth breath. Inhale all the way open, so sweep. Exhale to stop, drop, sink and stay. <sighs> Inhale, stretch from fingertip to fingertip. And exhale and then connect and zip and knit your rib cage down and lift your arm up and over to close all the way back up again. The next one's got your holds. So inhale all the way open and hold your breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Let it go. Stretch, breathe in. And exhale and then connect really hard. And pull the weight of your arm up and over to close back up again. Don't hit the dog. Smooth breath. Inhale all the way open. And hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, stretch. Oh, exhale, stretch. Inhale, stretch. And exhale to connect and zip and close all the way back up again. And then chalk circles are for free. Take them and use them to stretch your side as much as possible. So breathe in in place. Exhale, circle overhead. Lift your hand if you have to. But then stretch it out of its socket. Feel the pull on your ribs. And exhale and circle down as you breathe out. Bringing your shoulder way past your ear. Inhale over your thigh. And exhale and circle overhead. Inhale, stretch up, make space along the side of your rib cage, and exhale and circle down, pushing your shoulder away from your ear. Inhale over your thigh and go one last time. Exhale and circle over. That's your out, so your ribs are down. With your in, your ribs are up. And with your out, you start pressing them down again. And then you stop and you lie on your other side. For more, open and close the book, please. And the teacher will try and remember the sequence. Good luck, teacher. Right, bundle up. Get yourself as small as possible. Um, yes, isolation. Look, I've only got five people in my house, guys. So I have more words than five people can listen to. So I've started talking to myself a lot more. I'm great company, I'll have you know. Okay. Shush, Uta, stop taking notes. Inhale, lift your arm up to 90 degrees and stop. Exhale and open your chest to the ceiling. Let your face follow your hand. Do what you know in the first one. Inhale, lift your arm up to 90 degrees. And exhale to close. Okay, it's for holds. Inhale, lift. And go. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, open. Inhale, lift. And exhale to close. <sighs> Inhale up to 90 degrees. And hold your breath. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale, open. <sighs> Inhale, lift. And exhale to close. <sighs> and now go smooth breath. A grand sweep open. Inhale. 
And exhale to stop, drop, sink and stay. Push your knee, tilt your spine, drop your shoulder, draw your chin down. Breathe in, stretch, make space. And breathe out, knit your rib cage down. Lift your arm up and over to close. Next is into the breath hold. So you go inhale all the way open. Hold the breath in place. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe out. Stretch, breathe in. And exhale and now breathe hard. And bring the weight of your arm up and over. Smooth breath. Inhale all the way open. And hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe out. Stretch. And exhale and then connect and zip. And lift your arm up and over to close back up again. Chalk circles for the opening of the side of your ribs. Breathe in for nothing. Exhale and circle overhead as you breathe out. Inhale, stretch up into the corner and exhale and circle down. Push your shoulder away from your ear. Inhale over your thigh and exhale and circle overhead as you breathe out. Inhale, stretch up into the corner and exhale and circle down, pressing your shoulder away from your ear. One more time. Inhale and exhale and circle overhead. Let your knees and your hips roll. You don't have to hold that position in chalk circles. Breathe in and exhale and circle down as you breathe out. Cool. Lie on your backs again. Pop a foot up into a hamstring stretching device. Do you have something underneath your head? It's just nice. Remember your hamstring stretch is dynamic, so move within it. It's inhale away from your body, exhale up to your body. And that is going to give you a movement that gives the muscle the work and allows it to be flexible in motion instead of a static muscle. Desby getting almost quadruple the amount of exercise than usual today across the middle line of your body. <laughs> Desby's having a fence put up for Covey. So she's up and down the whole time waiting for the workmen. It's ridiculous. Bring it over to the outside. That's fancy, Linda, with your imaginary hamstring stretcher. Very nice. Good. Good work. And then you can change legs. Uta also holds onto her toes, but luckily she has a circle today. <laughs> mm. I got a message on my phone today from a wine farm. That says, um, we know we're being sneaky, but do you want to order anything? Guys, surely not. That's like a criminal offense. Cross the middle line of your body. But if anybody wants some dodgy wine. <laughs> I, I, but they said they're being sneaky. So that's like not criminal. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because they admitted. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Bring it over to the outside. I'll forward you the number. What was that? Did Tiny Ulu say something there in the background? Oh, no. What's the point then? <laughs> Let go of your legs. <laughs> All right. Roll on to... No, wait. Let's practice damn roll-ups. So if you have that kind of body, slide your legs to long and straight and squeeze them together towards the end of your mat. If your body doesn't like long straight legs, keep your knees bent. They don't have to do the full roll up. But the squeeze of them is important and the pressure of your heels into the mat too. And then inhale, lift your arms up to 90 degrees. Exhale and take your hands overhead, squeezing your legs together. Inhale, draw your chin down and nod. And exhale to roll and stop. Stretch forward as you breathe in. And exhale and roll back down again. Inhale, nod, take your hands overhead. And exhale to roll and stop. Hold it there as you breathe in. Keep stretching forward. And exhale and then squeeze your legs together or press your heels down and roll down. One more prep. Inhale, nod. And exhale to roll and stop. Hold, breathe in, keep squeezing. And exhale and then connect and roll back down again. For those of you that do have a full roll up in your repertoire, please use it now. For the rest of us, you roll onto your side and you come up into a seated position, but it's inhale 
hands overhead and exhale to roll up and through and forward. And then stay sitting up straight. So that's why we stretched our hamstrings. So we've got nice long legs and hamstrings to sit on. And you can bring your small ball or anything into play on the top of your knees. Legs are at hip distance apart. So you've got a little bit of give. You're going to grow tall as you breathe in. And exhale and drop your head and round all the way down and forward. Taking your fingers as close to your toes as you can get them. Breathe in. And exhale and then slowly roll back up again. Inhale, grow tall. And exhale and drop your head and round all the way down and forward. Inhale, stay stretched forward. And exhale and then connect and slowly roll back up again. One more time. Inhale. And exhale and drop your head and round and press forward. Go for your toes. Inhale, hold the stretch. And exhale and roll back up again. Bring your hands up to 90 degrees. You can bring your legs together together. It's a nice challenge. And then when you breathe out, bend both your elbows to twist. One, two, three. Inhale, center, long arms. And exhale and bend to twist. One, two, three to the other side. Inhale, long arms open. And exhale and twist. One, two, three. Inhale, center. And exhale and bend and twist. One, two, three three to the other side inhale open let your legs separate go to mat width apart and we'll do the saw so inhale float up your arms exhale drop your shoulders inhale turn over your knee turn your back hand stretch across and go and saw off your baby toe inhale let your back arm pull you up and exhale center inhale turn over the other knee exhale and stretch across and down try and lick your knee Inhale, let your back arm pull you up and exhale to connect center. Inhale, turn, turn your back hand, stretch across and down. Inhale up and exhale center. Last one on the other side, inhale, turn and exhale and stretch across and down. Inhale up and exhale and come back into the center. And then bring your knees around and come up onto all fours. And we're practicing that dastardly plank. Um, if your knees are lank dodge, um, do it against the cupboard instead, Helen. You don't have to do this on your knees. Um, and if your wrists are giving you jip, you can go down onto your elbows. But the trick is to lift your knees just a little. So take a breath in, tuck your toes, and exhale and lift your knees a millimeter away from the floor. Hold, breathe in, and exhale, and then put your knees back down again. Inhale. Exhale and lift your knees just a little. The lesser, the harder. Hold, breathe in. And exhale and put your knees back down again. One more time. Inhale and exhale and lift your knees. Hold it there as you breathe in. And exhale and put your knees back down again. One set of mountain climbers. So inhale, tuck your toes. Exhale, lift your knees. And step back, return once. Step back, return twice, three times, four times. Stop, put your knees down, take them wide, and drop into a wide knee shell stretch. Last chance to hold your breath. So hold, breathe in. And then five, four, three, two, one, and breathe out. And then take a breath in, exhale, come up onto all fours, and then pop yourself into your Bushman sit. Hold in your Bushman sit or your Wicked Keeper. Hey, Shuri. Hey, Shuri. Look at the camera. Good dog, yes. Yes. Oh, and she's gone. It must be outside. And then lift your hips up, hang your heads upside down. Gently sway from side to side. Keep your knees soft. Hold, breathe in. And then exhale and slowly roll up as you breathe out. Bring your hands with you. Take a big stretch up into the sky. And exhale and paint and brush. 